In this video, we will discuss the attachments of the hip bone. Initially, we will cover the ilium of the hip bone. The anterior spheric ilex spine it gives origin to the sartorius muscle. In addition to sartorius muscle, it also gives attachment to the inguinal ligament. Now we have divided the ilic crest into the anterior two third and the posterior one third. The anterior two third having the outer lip, the intermediate area, and the inner lip. Now the outer lip gives attachment throughout its extent to the fascia lata, and the tensor fascia lata is attached uh, it gives origin to tensor fascia lata just in front of the tubercle of the ilic crest the uh, gluteus maximus is inserted on the outer lip in the anterior two third part of it the intermediate area of the ilic crest it is occupied by the origin of the obturator internus muscle now the uh, outer lip it gives attachment to uh, gives origin to the transverse abdominus muscle and just below deep to the transverse abdominus muscle there is attachment of the fascia transversalis and fascia iliaca and in its posterior part it gives uh, origin to the quadratus lumborum muscle and deep to the quadratus lumborum muscle there is attachment of the thoraco lumbar fascia now on the outer lip uh, where uh, on uh, the outer lip in its posterior part it gives origin to the latissimus dorsi muscle now coming to the posterior part of the ilic crest we have divided the posterior part into the lateral slope and the medial slope the lateral slope gives origin to the gluteus maximus muscle and the medial slope gives origin to the erector spiny muscle now the gluteal surface uh, was divided into four parts by three gluteal lines now in the color in blue indicates the gluteal lines let us revise these gluteal lines that is uh, from the posterior superior ilic spine to the posterior inferior ilic spine is the posterior gluteal line from the tubercle of the ilic crest to the upper border of the upper margin of the greater sciatic notch is the anterior gluteal line and from the anterior inferior ilic spine to the lower margin of the greater sciatic notch is the inferior gluteal line now the area which is present behind the posterior gluteal line is occupied by the origin of the gluteus maximus muscle the area between the posterior gluteal line and the anterior gluteal line is occupied by the origin of gluteus medius muscle and between the anterior gluteal line and the inferior gluteal line is uh, the origin of the gluteus minimus muscle the anterior uh, inferior ilic spine and the area below the inferior is occupied by the straight and the reflected head of the rectus femoris the straight head uh, uh, arises from the anterior inferior ilic spine and the reflected from the area below the inferior gluteal line now the margins of this acetabulum give attachment to the capsule of the hip joint the area uh, which is present just above the greater sciatic notch it gives attachment to few fibers of the piriformis muscle and also here it is attached the sacro tuberous ligament basically the greater sciatic notch and the lesser sciatic notch present on the posterior border of the uh, ilium they are converted into the foramina by the attachment of the sacro tuberous and sacro spinous ligament Now coming to the medial surface, this ilic fossa it is covered by the region of the iliacus muscle along with the uh, its bursa, and this sacro pelvic surface which has a tuberosity and the auricular surface and the pelvic surface. The tuberosity of uh, the sacro pelvic surface or the we can say the ilic tuberosity it gives attachment in its greater part to the iliolumbar ligament, the uh, dorsal uh, sac. Uh, Iliac lumbar ligament uh, just below the highest point, the dorsal uh, sacral uh, ilic ligament and the iliac uh, sacral ligament. The auricular surface gave attachment to the ventral sacro ilic ligament. This ventral sacro ilic ligament also extends to some extent to the pre auriculars. The pelvic surface of the sacro pelvic uh, part of the uh, ilic. Uh, ilium it gives origin to few fibers of the piriformis and rest of the pelvic surface uh, it is occupied by the origin of the obturator internus muscle now this area the uh, sacro pelvic surface it basically is entirely covered by the ligament because it helps in the uh, uh, making of the sacro ilic joint so we have the intercostal sacro ilic ligament we have the iliolumbar ligament we have the dorsal sacro ilic ligament and the ventral sacro ilic ligament